I was working as a foreman of a tool and die company, and at the age of 40, I decided to leave my job and become a New York City high school teacher. To become certified, I went back again to college and attended Oswego State University, City College of New York, and New York University. In addition, I became an assistant dean of boys in a high school with 3,600 pupils where I counseled students and parents. As I taught, I saw many educational deficiencies and decided to investigate the system, both locally and nationwide. I took a one-year leave of absence and during that time became a substitute teacher. I taught every grade level from 1 to 12 in 27 different schools in all of the five boroughs of New York City. I interviewed students, parents, teachers, assistant principals, and principals. After working 10 years on this project, I wrote my first book, Schools in Crisis, Training for Success or Failure. By the way, it's, you can read it. It's, I put it free on my website under free resources. From my research and my experience as a high school teacher, assistant dean of boys, and substitute teacher in some of the worst schools in New York City, I have much to say about why many youth end up as losers. No one in their right mind would want to hire some of the youth that I saw in the schools. Some youth will wake up after traveling the road of hard knocks. Others will suffer their entire lives for their defiant and bitter attitude. My wife and I decided to move our family of five children to Houston, Texas. I love to teach, but the pay for teaching was insufficient to support my family, so I went back to my trade as a tool and die maker. After two years, I found employment as a tool designer. Six months later, the president offered me the job of operations manager of this large tool and die stamping shop and his machining company. After working there as manager for five and a half years, I decided to start an electrical discharge machining, it's called EDM company, with my son who had an engineering degree. Within four years, we became the largest wire EDM job shop in Texas. During that time, I also started advanced publishing and digital cornerstone, a recording and video studio. After nine years, reliable EDM with 15 wire EDMs, became the largest company of its kind west of the Mississippi River. Today, we have over 50 EDMs. Straight Talk video series is designed to help youth achieve success in their career and life skills. Now, I've shared my varied background with you, so you know I'm speaking from years of personal experience. I've interviewed many employees from my companies and also from when I was operations manager. From my five children, I've had 19 consecutive years of teenage experience and lots of experience from my 19 grandchildren. I want to stress, this video series is not just my ideas. I'll be sharing secrets from many individuals and leaders about what they discovered it takes to become successful. I've elaborated on my background to show you I've learned not only from my own experiences, but also from the successes of others. As you watch this video series, you may wonder, where did you get all these ideas and stories? Did you one day get the idea to develop this series on success and begin researching and writing? No, I didn't one day get an idea about success. I have a vast filing system where I've been collecting articles and materials for over 40 years in hopes of one day using them to inspire others. One of the subjects that always fascinated me was how to become successful. Many of the ideas I'll be sharing with you about success I've gleaned from these many years of research. Since I've written many children's books teaching important life skills and virtues, and now many of these children are today's youth, I wanted to show them how they can become winners, starting out as a young person. Many seeds of destruction are, dis are planted in the early years of youth, and this video series is my dream of helping youth avoid the pitfalls and so instead 
seeds of success. One thing I learned, you can't force individuals to make wise choices. You have to make the choice. Do you want to become a winner or do you want to end up becoming a loser? It's up to you. And I wish that all of you from this series will choose to become a winner and you'll never be disappointed.